means land and sea and is a soaring tribute to the landscape of Cornwall. Fatilvia, Pithavamyeth Chihenyeth, Nipro, Manavis Trigus, Pithqueth. Hagapet Terris Tau, Dilgans Vlethen, Gans Kozorion, Dathia Knoeth. It's estimated Gweno Saunders is amongst only a few hundred people who speak Canuic, the Cornish language, fluently. She learned it from her Cornish father and decided to record her latest solo album, Le Coff, meaning the place of memory, entirely in the language. The thing that I find really interesting about the Cornish language is that many people don't know that it exists and um, because it doesn't get the coverage, it's, you know Cornwall is a very small place but also it, you know it doesn't get much funding and much government support. So much is sort of drummed into and particularly if you're making music or art that you have to do it in English otherwise no one's going to care and I've, I've, I've always felt that that wasn't true. It's unique to Cornwall, it's a fantastic language and what's encouraging I think is that more and more people in the creative sector are using it as well. It is little wonder that Cornwall has inspired creativity down the ages. Cornish language music though has mostly been confined to folk. But Gweno says this broadcaster is driving a Cornish revival. If we're exciting them with new types of music, new styles of music, like what uh, we have here with Gweno's music, then that is going to really benefit the amount of people coming in and getting children to speak the language. On a boating lake on the Lizard Peninsula, Rob and his children are doing their bit. How do you do one to twenty in Canoeic Mop Lake? On in tree, pen. He's learning Cornish and passing it on to his kids. It's our language, it's part of what we are, and if we don't teach the kids, it's, it's going to die out, the language is going to die out. So next week, Gweno will be on stage in Cornwall singing in Cornish. I think it's the cultural and linguistic differences that makes the world fascinating. I think I'm just really excited by more and more people speaking Cornish. She is not alone in praying for that. Nina Nanar, News at 10.